No, you're looking at the photo with the reference photo of a woman. The yeah, final output of a pixel style image, right? Now, don't worry about this one. It's a very easy task to do. It just took one click technically. Now, another example for you guys is going to be this one. Basically, the same Disney Pixar photo from a reference photo of a woman. Now, um, with this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this because we're going to discuss how to create your own image using Lensico AI. So, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the video, and let's get straight to it. Let me just go to the website. Now, this should be the one with bit page you should be seeing on your end. The link is going to be lensgo.ai, and then this should be what you're seeing also. So, there are two ways to proceed on this one. You can either click the restyle photo on this side or go straight on the left side to create images. So let me just go on create images and then you'll see this landing page. Basically, you'll see the previous creation I've made. I have a lot of things we made here and technically for now, we're going to go straight to it. Now, the idea here is going to be image to image. So the thing is, first thing, you need to select a model on the left side. So since we're targeting some Pixar and some anime style, I'm gonna go for Pixar. There is a size for the photo. I'm gonna stay one by one. Number of images, I'm gonna go stay with one. So, or rather two to save some time. And then basically, I'm gonna add my image. On the underside of this section, there is upload image just beside prompt bar. Let's upload our image. I'm gonna look for a sample image I got. Where is that one? This one right here. Now, since I already added my image, let me just add some prompts. So, if you don't have any idea to use for a prompt, simply go for cinematic and then highly detailed. And basically, that's it. Simply click on start and let's wait for it to finish. I'll get back to you once it's here. So, welcome back to the video. And right now, these are the results. We have two. So, I already opened the previous reference photo so you can see the difference. So, technically, the two right here are the result. This is the reference photo and you can tell me right now if it's very good or not because if you're gonna ask me it's a very good Pixar style photo. So there are options here to download, you see that out right there, simply click on it and you'll download the photo. If you click on it one more time, you'll see it has a maximized size. Now there is another way to change the style with the same photo, change your model and look for um, the anime style, let's look for it. I'm gonna go vintage comic. Same um, photo, same prompt. I'm not going to change anything, so I want to show you guys. Now for this one, I'm going to go with the one to save some time. Click on start and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. This is going to be the anime style photo. If you're going to ask me, it's pretty good right now. So let me just pull it up, pull up the reference photo. And right now you can see the difference. The exact reference or the key points of the original photo is still there. The nose, the hairstyle and how it was curled and even the shape of the face, right? Even the dress, if you can ask me. So that being said, you can make major changes. For example, on the prompt, let me just add some more smile or rather rain and storm. And basically with that, I can just simply click on start and wait for it to finish. So the thing I did here is I'm trying to create or make the photo smile or the person inside the photo smile and then have a different background of a rain and storm. So I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back right now. This is going to be the result. If you're going to ask me, we are now on a rain and storm background with a smiling photo. It's a bit weird regarding the smile, but still it's smiling, right? Anyway, to download this one again, hover your mouse, you'll see that icon right there. Click on it and you'll be downloading it on your PC. And that being said, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please do the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.